back to royalty soaps. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. It is pina colada day here at royalty soaps. By the way, my name is Katie. <laughs> No, I never say my name at the beginning of videos and people are like, what is her name? And they just end up calling me like Miss Royalty Soaps, which I think is really funny. Hi, my name is Katie. We're doing drink month here at Royalty Soaps. So all the soaps are inspired by beverages and today is pina colada. Highly, highly, highly requested soap. And of course I can't let you guys down. And one of the bars that I made today is really, really special as you guys can probably see from the title and the thumbnail. <laughs> if you aren't following me on Instagram I have two, one for personal life which I actually haven't been uploading very much to recently because I've been super busy in my personal life but my mom and I are actually doing a weight loss competition and we will be giving ourselves prizes and I am trying my very best to beat her pants off so if you want to see me win because I'm going to win you can follow me over there and of course if you're just interested in my soapy creations as well you can follow me on the one for royalty soaps and that's super cool too so without further ado let's get started we will begin by mixing up the base of our soap that's the part that the frosting is going to sit it on top. I'm gonna pour my lye water solution into my oils. Both of them are at room temperature. If you're new to making soap, a little tip is if you're working with your lye at room temperature, make it the night before so that you can just sleep off your anticipation instead of like constantly checking it every 15 minutes to see if it's ready yet. And now I'm going to blend on low. That's the number one right here on my stick blender speed gauge until everything is at emulsified trace. So really, really, really watery, but all of the lye and the water have been blended and are holding to each other so it's not like separating and there's still oil sitting on top. We're just past emulsification now, so I'm going to split off my batch for our accent colors. This is all going to be various shades of yellow with a white. Into the large bucket right here, I'm going to add some True Yellow Mica from TKB. As one of the accent colors, I'm gonna add some Cosmetic Yellow Neon from Nurture Soap. This is like a highlighter yellow. It is very, very, very neon. And finally, as the last accent, I'm gonna be adding some Titanium Dioxide mixed with water. They do have oil-soluble Titanium Dioxide as well, but I prefer the one with water. I just think it, it gets you a better color. And now I'm gonna blend all these up. If you're making a tropical drink soap, can you use any other fragrance besides pina colada? I mean, seriously. So this smells sort of like maraschino cherry with coconut and pineapple. Really, really, really heavy on the coconut and the pineapple though. Just, just a tinge of cherry in there. It smells really good. This is probably in my top three fragrances from this month. And now that our fragrance oil has been incorporated, it's time to start pouring into our two molds. What happens if you pour into the same spot in every single mold? Well, we're gonna find out today. So I'm gonna pour a good bit of that yellow into the middle. I'm not shaking it down. It hasn't even reached the edges yet. Then I'm gonna come in with the neon yellow, pour that right in the middle. And eventually these colors are gonna start displacing each other. I'm gonna pour some white in there. Not as much with these two colors because there's more of this yellow than there are of those two. I'm gonna keep pouring with the yellow again. Come in with the neon, come in with the white, and once again with the yellow before we uh, sort of scrape everything onto the top. Now once it starts stacking up in the middle like that, you do have to shake them down. 
gonna come back in with the dark yellow. I'm just gonna fill it in <laughs> until it starts mounding up on the sides, then I'll have to shake it down again. For the scrapey scraping of the accent colors, I'm not gonna worry about putting those just in the middle. I'm gonna kinda splatter those around on the top. It's not gonna change the inside design at all. Now that I have all of the soap in the two molds, I'm going to tap them down to sort of even it all out. And then I'll mix up the piping and we'll come back and frost the top. My piping has set up, so I'm using the large piping bag and one of the tips from the Royalty Soaps piping set available at NurtureSoap.com. If you're an intermediate soap maker trying to step up your game, you've made lots of soaps that look like this, but you want to add some pizzazz on top. Nurture Soap and I are partnered together. We are putting out this kit. I have instructional videos that you will get exclusive access to whenever you purchase it. There's tons and tons of good reviews online. I've got a lot of positive feedback from this, and I worked for so long with Carrie to make this perfect for you guys, so you can go check that out if you're interested. And this green color on top is actually a custom blend and I'll share with you guys what I did because I'm so happy with how it turned out because this type of green is hard to get in cold process soap in my opinion. It always ends up looking a little bit too limey or a little too like hunter green. And this is actually a little darker than it's going to be. It's going to end up being more of a true green color. Uh, after the cure because I did use green vibrance and it always turns darker when the soap is raw. I used three parts green vibrance and one part hydrated chrome green oxide. That's how I got this color. You can tailor that ratio to your individual soaping needs. Starting now on the second round, just gonna fill in the gaps a little bit. Oh man, the fragrance is like permeating the piping on top. Like it still smells so good even though I'm covering it up with the piping. It's like leaking through. It's so delicious. And the second row is done so I'm gonna put this last little dollop, my finishing touch on the top. This is the most fun part of piping to me is finishing it all off and making it look superb on the very last little dollop here. This little bit of piping on top looks like a baby sea urchin. <laughs> it really does. Like right there it looks like a little baby sea urchin. That you're about to smash. No. <laughs> We don't think of it that way, Simeon. Before I put the embeds on, we're putting on the glitter. Look at this glitter mix, you guys. Oh, it makes my heart happy. This is the Ocean Breeze Mix from fizzfairy.ca. Um, can this be any more perfect for this soap? I think not. So I'm just gonna shake a little here on the side. This uh, mix also has a little bit of green in it. So it's got some silver, it's got some blue, and it has some green. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the white glitter from Fizz Fairy, just a teeny tiny sprinkling of that on top. And now I'm gonna take some blue paper straws. I have some that are in a light blue and some that are in a dark blue. And we're gonna stick those in on the sides because this is a tropical drink, never forget. And finally, we're going to put these little pink embeds on top. Now again, I know this soap looks a little bit dark right now because it hasn't fully saponified, so the green is darker than it will be after the cure, but it will turn a little more of a little, it'll go a little more lime instead of being so like hunter and dark and weird like it is right now. Now y'all might be curious as to why I am putting these little pink ones on top when there's no pink in any of the soap. And the answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking like tropical sunsets, beachy waves, pina coladas, the entire visual image. So like the sunset, the waves, the pineapple, beachy glimmer, mermaid stuff. Are y'all guys feeling what I'm doing here? When in doubt, add more glitter on top. I'm not doubting, I'm just adding more glitter because I like it. I'm gonna spritz the top now with rubbing alcohol and I'm not gonna show you guys a close-up because this is not the final color that it's going to be so I don't want you to look at it now and go Katie what have you done? <laughs>
We are back the next day to cut the pina colada soap. So let me just line it up here. And this is what the end piece looks like. That looks so strange. It looks like a little alien space helmet. Wow, the scent is fantastic. It's like the perfect blend of like sweet coconut and pineapple. Y'all, what even is this? Am I the only one that sees like a hypnotized face with a big smile? This swirl that I decided to try out apparently lends itself to some really crazy designs on the inside. Looking at this soap reminds me of a pineapple. <gasps> You guys, I have an idea. The rest of the soap cutting can wait. I have on hand some sorcery soap dough. Isn't her packaging cute? And I was keeping it on hand for a moment such as this. I've broken it up pretty good, I think. It's pretty pliable and moldable at this point. Pay no attention to my fingernail. <laughs> well, actually, I'm gonna set this off to the side. First, I'm gonna start by etching some lines into this bar. And I'm gonna put a little dot in the middle of each one. So I've molded some of the soap dough. I've made this little half oval shape and two little circles here. I wonder if anybody has figured out yet what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna roll it into a nice little, I don't know, clay snake. I don't know what these things are called. Probably end up melting this together with a little teeny tiny bit of melt and pour. I glued all of the little bits of soap dough onto my pineapple, so now it is time to paint it. Now I have mixed up a teeny tiny bit of silver mica with some vodka, and using my paintbrush, I'm just gonna paint the door all the way around it. I'm using an angled brush to kind of help me get down there on the top. But if I get a little bit on the soap bar, it'll be totally fine because I can just wipe it right up. And we'll come over here, do the same thing to the windows. I'm going back now. It dries really, really, really quick. That's why I use 100 proof vodka because by the time I finished the windows, the door was already completely dry. So I'm going in and touching up any little bits that may not be 100% covered yet. Now I've mixed up a teeny tiny bit of blue melt and pour and I have my pipette here. So I'm just gonna fill in the windows with this blue. And right here as well. And finally, I'm gonna take some of this Queen Catherine mica mixed with vodka. I have a really, really thin brush now. And I'm just gonna brush it in between these crosses. This doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's just supposed to add a little bit of definition to those lines. And I'm not gonna do it probably to every single one. I'm also gonna fill in this middle dot right here. Find a little bit right here. And this soap is done. <laughs> do you know whose house it is? <laughs> I sure hope all of y'all know what this is. <laughs> that is so fun. So out of all of the soaps that are pina colada, somebody is going to get the special SpongeBob SquarePants inspired one. That's fun. So I did end up making a SpongeBob pineapple soap for you guys, but I also ended up making one for my best friend Caroline, since she is super obsessed with SpongeBob SquarePants. So once again, if you purchase a pina colada soap, at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time on July 6th, you might end up getting the SpongeBob SquarePants bar. <laughs> These are some of my like favorite creations I've ever made on this channel. I, I hope, Caroline, I have done you proud. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. Oh, and I didn't forget about the question of the day, you guys, jeez. It has to be SpongeBob themed. So if you could have lunch with any of the three following SpongeBob characters, who would it be? Sandy Cheeks, SpongeBob, or Mr. Krabs? You guys know I'm picking Sandy Cheeks cause she's from Texas, y'all. If you'd like to vote in the question of the day, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Y'all better not pick Mr. Krabs either. What a shyster. <laughs> And until next time, I hope you all have an absolutely royal day, and I will see you guys a lot in the coming week. Bye for now. Meow. Yeah.